The Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office is calling for two teens involved in the deadly shooting of a Lyft driver in Dayton last month to be tried as adults. Prosecuting attorney Matt Hagg Jr. released more information surrounding the crimes this afternoon. And 2 News reporter Allison Gens is live in Dayton with why Hack is pushing for this transfer. John Brook, prosecuting attorney Matt Heck Jr. says what these two teens did was a purposeful shooting and homicide, crossing the line of what charges are suitable for juvenile court. Now, Heck's office filed that paperwork today to transfer two 15 year old males from Dayton to be tried as adults. Both teens are charged for the armed robbery of a female Lyft driver and the shooting death of a 35 year old Lyft driver, Brandon Cooper. Those incidents happened in the early morning hours of January. 26th. First, Dayton police were called to the armed robbery where the victim's car and phone were stolen. Later, police were alerted to gunfire by their shot spotter system and a report of a crash. That's where they found Cooper dead with a gunshot wound. Now, officers located the two teens charged along with two other teens at a house on Anna Street, which caused a standoff. The two teens faced four counts of murder, three counts of aggravated robbery, and several other charges. Heck says both of these teens have a history of other crimes crimes that they've committed prior to January 26th. Look at what we've been told and the number of times they've been suspended from school and not in school for fighting and other disruptions. You know, it, it might appear to some that these defendants spend more time on the streets committing crimes, causing problems than they do being in school. Now, those other two teens mentioned were originally identified as involved with that shooting and robbery. However, their charges have been dropped as an investi investigation continues into their involvement. And earlier today, the Dayton chapter of the NAACP held a press conference. Here, what they're calling on rideshare companies to do coming up on 5 on 2. Live in Dayton, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.